Hey, this is me, Amrita Rao, on my very first Miss Malini interview. So you're watching me on MissMalini.com and I'm excited. In all my years in Bollywood, the lessons I've learned is that you need to have a lot of patience. Success doesn't come overnight. I remember I was shooting for Mehuna and Mr. Shah Rukh Khan tried to impart this wisdom in me. He told me that, you know, the young generation is in a haste to to just be superstars overnight and he tried to tell me that how um, it takes a lot of films, a lot of exposure to actually become a superstar and of course a lot of hard work. So I realized that um, it's an industry which is highly competitive and uh, only the best survive. So it's perhaps easy to get here but the biggest challenge is to sustain. For me, um, I have always believed uh, that in perhaps certain qualities that are true only to me, um, I am unique within the gamut of all the other actresses and hence um, my uh, goal has never been to be them or to try and do something because they are doing it and because they are doing this even I have to do this I have always believed that I am different I have certain qualities that nobody can um, uh, replace and uh, hence I have always stuck to my comfort zone or this zone that I've been very comfortable with and uh, roles that have come my way have always fortunately been the ones that I instantly loved and the best part about this journey of being an actress of not having a godfather not having uh, somebody to fall back upon has been that the best of filmmakers have always approached me I have not knocked on their doors. They have come to me and I think that there is so much of grace uh, in, in that uh, way. The roles that uh, have always excited me have been uh, roles um, uh, where no matter what character I play, I could be a tomboy, I could be a village uh, uh, like uneducated bumpkin like I did in uh, Welcome to Sajjanpur uh, or a small town educated girl but, but, but what really excites me during a narration is the way a director conceives the scene for me you know or various scenes in the body of the script uh, there are some filmmakers who have this knack of conceiving scenes which really put an actor to challenge so they would say that okay you start from here and you are here and this happens and, and the camera is rolling there are no cuts but then you have to cry and you have to go to cry so and then you know but because when you you are actually challenged by certain scenes like that and certain filmmakers do conceive such um, scenes that really excites me because then I have sleepless nights over it and then I, I think about how I'm going to do it. Right now I, I'm going ballistic about Mr. Bachchan because he's been the most amazing co-actor, co-star I've worked with. Uh, so much of experience there, so much of style, so much of simplicity that comes with the package of Amitabh Bachchan that you keep uh, you know like you're in disbelief and you keep questioning questioning yourself at the end of the day that was it really that Mr. Amitabh Bachchan did I work with the entire day because there is no nakra about Mr. Bachchan there is no chata there is no nimbu pani there is no somebody coming and puffing his face every two seconds uh, there is no as an actor you know once your shot is done there's this young tradition of keep hopping in uh, hopping out of your vanity van which is so time consuming but Mr. Bachchan is the perhaps the only actor who just sits there uh, on that spot and no matter even if it's any other actor scene he is still sitting on the set he's very much a part of the set uh, that that is that was something that I was very surprised and amazed with um, uh, Satyagre, uh, which is Prakash Jha's film, is up for release next um, within a, like a very short span of time. 30th of August, I am so excited. Um, 
I believe I have done my best, the best that I could do perhaps uh, at this stage of my career. Uh, because of which now I'm, I'm kind of in this mode where I've just surrendered. You know, like you do your best, like they say, Lord Krishna said, Ki karm karo aur phal ki chinta mat karo. So when you've given your best to something, then I think you should just let go. So I'm in that phase where it's, I've let go. <laughs> yeah. uh, wow, uh, I'd love to work with Dibakar Banerjee as a, as a filmmaker. What I notice about him, which is very unique to him, is that uh, you know, generally, cinema is such a visual medium and um, when you see a fantastic director who obviously brings about the best in uh, his actor, people just come out of the cinema hall uh, in awe of the actor. And somewhere, because the director is behind the scene, he doesn't get all the accolades. But Debakar has this unique way of also taking away uh, the spotlight. For some reason, he just does it. I mean, I saw Bombay Talkies, and uh, although um, Nawazuddin is one of the most brilliant actors I've watched on Indian cinema, I came out saying Dibakar, Dibakar, fantastic Dibakar, because he just is so brilliant in his execution.